What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're getting ready to go to Georgia. But first, I decided to do a little bit of gardening this morning. Crystal actually has a pinched nerve in her back and she went to my buddy Charlie who owns Simpson Chiropractic and Stuart, she's getting her back adjusted and a massage. So when we go catch giant catfish, she's in her prime. She's been kinked up for a while. So I decided to surprise her. I went to Home Depot, bought all kinds of really colorful plants and I'm gonna plant them around our garden just to make it look a little bit better and to attract some pollinators, some honeybees and whatever else kind of bug can pollinate our tomatoes. Now, if you follow along, you know we've been doing this for about three weeks now. We're new to it. I'm new to it. Crystal's been doing it in Kentucky. That's her home state. But down here in South Florida, it's totally different. We have bugs and we got funguses and all kinds of nasty stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to make this garden last. We planted these raised beds, which are just drums about, I think right at three weeks ago, and there's weeds growing around it. So I went and bought some of this stuff right here. That'll keep the weeds from growing up through the potting soil that I'm gonna put on top of it and around here to be able to plant these really pretty plants. Tell me I'm not a gardener. Now I went a little bit short on this end just cause we're going to Georgia and I didn't have time to do all of that over here. I don't really think it's necessary. Got some marigolds. I'm doing this trying to attract pollinating bugs and keep some of the bad bugs away with basil and onions. These are tomatoes if you follow along, you already know that. I'm gonna plant these bigger ones once Crystal tells me where she wants them. Now I don't know what it is about getting older. My dad, he's 73 or 74. He's been gardening like crazy. Crystal wanted a garden. I got interested and here we are. I've got to give a huge shout out though to the Chore Warrior. You guys, this is an electric wheelbarrow. You can load up so much weight, it's crazy in that wheelbarrow. Pick it up one handed, it drives for you. You no longer have to do all the pushing. I think I put 150 pounds of soil in it, probably could have put more, hauled all the flowers around back, and I didn't have to hurt my back because it is electric. Crystal having a pinched nerve, she runs this thing all day every day, doesn't bother her a bit. I used to have a bad back, so I don't want to pick up a lot of weight. This, it takes all the burden off your back. If you want to know more about the Chore Warrior, check out the link in the description below. And just like that, we're here, folks. Paradise Park in Garlight, Georgia. If you follow along, you already know where we're at. So we've done a bunch of catfish videos here on the Ottawa Hall River, where I'm walking to right now. It's only about 100 yards from our camp. Wait till you see how high the water is. Now the Ottawa Hall River is a flooding style river, meaning it comes way up and goes way down. The last couple times we've been here, it's been anywhere from six to eight feet. Right now it's almost 14 feet. Now I've filmed this before. I've walked down to this boat ramp before, just like this in a video. And if you've watched it, you've seen that the water was way down yonder, not way up here at this oak tree. I'll show a clip right now of way down there where the water is at most of the time we're here. Check out how low it is. Now check out how high it is. That's nuts. There's probably a hundred foot of boat ramp that's under the water right now. Not very many people here either. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats, including ours. Right now we're just going on a recon mission because tonight we're doing a little Calcutta style tournament. There's about 10 or 15 boats in it. $75 a boat, biggest fish takes all. So I got the crew and we're gonna go out and just see what we can do. What do you right. get if hop you on. win? You ready? Yeah, hop on, I'll put you What do we get if we win? Mm -hmm. Whole bunch of cash. Now you never see me make Luke wear a life jacket. He's wearing one today because this river's super cold and it's super high. Anything could ha happen out here today. So this is something new that we got just for this river. We can use it other places, but we got it specifically for this river because we've been fishing this whole time for over a year and a half since we've been here and you don't know what's under the water. There's so many trees and log jams and rocks and stumps. Well, now we can see it. Like right over there, there's something big laying down. Right here's a bunch of structure, which is those trees. So as we get into the big river, we'll be able to fish some of these big blowed over trees that are in the water and we'll be able to do it pretty precise. Like we'll know exactly where it's at instead of just guessing because thus far all we've been doing is limb lining. Crystal and I and the boys wanna learn how to rod and reel fish this place. Just so while we're limb lining, we can be doing something besides just driving around waiting for you know the limbs to shake. Dragon Master sent us some rigs that should be able to come through these logs and not get hung up. Like right there, you can see that there's something right there and that could hold a big catfish. But we're gonna wait and get out in the big river until we fish. <laughs> Y'all wanna see something crazy? Look around where we're at right now. 
we're sitting in 18 foot of water. You see that? That's where I shot a deer in deer season in here and it was bone dry. And now it's 18 foot deep. How nuts is that? We're actually sitting 82 yards from where I last found blood. And there is a little, like what they call pond, which is when everything's dry, there's a little bit of water in this area. But everywhere we went, it's been from 14 to 18 foot deep in here. That's nuts to think that this was dry just a couple months ago and now it's flooded. We're actually halfway up the trees. And I'm thinking that some of these holes in here probably will hold big catfish. How hard would it be to get out of here in the dark? Impossible. <laughs> Last night we went, we went through this stuff for miles on JT's boat. But this boat's a little bit wider. Now this is the new Pro Drive. They just sent me this motor. It has instant reverse and full power reverse, which is a complete game changer. Before you would have to turn the lower unit around, which took like probably four seconds. Now it's just instant. So that's how we're able to get in here. When we came in, we were coming with the current. When I go out, I'm gonna be going back into it. So it'll be a whole lot more easy to maneuver. Y'all check out these big old I guess carp and gizzard sheds and then this thing. I don't even know what you call them. Brad catches them in his gill net. We just got done setting out about 20 limb lines. I just did a test run of something I've never done before right there. I've got a long line stretched between two bushes with two lines out in the middle. Normally you have to hang them straight down from the bush, but I got bored and tried something different. We've got a bunch of lines set in here and all down the river, and now we're just waiting for dark. We're gonna probably put some rods out now and fish till the sun sets, take Luke back so he can hang out with some other kids and start checking lines all night long and hopefully catch a big one. All right, guys, thus far in this video, yeah, yeah. we've just been, I don't know what you call it, just goofing around. This morning, it's time to get serious. We're having the catfish shootout. We got Ian and Crystal, Tug Trash. We got JT, Tommy, Jake's on their team too. But what they don't know is me and Crystal already got a surprise, y'all. Because we could start fishing yesterday. You see, this tournament started yesterday. Look here, folks. Look here. Oh, there's a big old big in on that string, but they're going to have to wait till later to see them. So as y'all know, we could start fishing yesterday at I think four to whatever all the way through the night. None of us fished through the night. We sat at the fire and talked. So we've got about 30 lines to go pull. All of us do each boat. So it's a bunch of lines. Then we're going to show you a day here at fish camp. Well, look at Crystal. Wait till you see the one thing she brought on the boat this morning. <laughs> I got it bagged up in a, a Ziploc so it don't get wet. Toilet paper. You're, you're going to thank me for this later. I promise. Where are you going to find land? <laughs> She don't need land. She just sits back there and goes. It's time to go. My body is sore. This boat is super easy to run, but if you're not used to running it and you haven't run it in a while, you will know it the next morning after a long night. Are you ready to catch a big old biggin? Yeah. Uh oh, that one's stuck. There we go. You guys, those power poles right there save my bootay. All night long they've been holding this. I can already see line number one is a goose egg. And that's the one I had the most hopes for. We would know if there was one on there because that limb is really light. It's right there, you can see the pink line. That limb is really light. It'd be pulling like crazy if there was one on there. Crystal, good news, there's a toilet if you gotta go number two. Somebody left her toilet right there. She's already got the paper. We're good to go. Yeah, it looks empty. There's even a street light above the toilet. This ain't looking good for us. These are our most exciting lines we set. You want to check one for bait? We're going to put more bait on them. You see what I was telling you with the motor with instant reverse? I can now control this boat so much better. Still 
bait. So as y'all can see, we put lines shallow, we put lines deep, and everywhere in between. And we're zero for four this morning. Look at our buddy Ian come up in here and put a line. That he probably caught, there's probably one on that limb. Is that his line? Yeah, look at y'all call tug trash out. That line was not there last night when we put in. He's over here fishing our hole. Straight down. Good buddy of mine, James Lassiner. That's his deer lease right there. James, you might have to swim to your tree stand if you plan on deer hunting right now. But you better not be deer hunting right now because it's almost turkey season. If you would like to go turkey season, please call me. Crystal's rebaiting the hooks. Remember one of them you put a ton of eggs on? Yeah, that was one of those over there. Are you sure it wasn't this one? Yeah. So what she just said is these shad right here are spawning and they have eggs in them. I strategically placed some of those eggs on a hook thinking I would definitely catch a 100 pounder and I caught zero. We just really all we got to do is hope nobody else catches one over eight pounds and we got it. We're on to the next. We got about 15 more lines to check and these lines can still catch one right now. So when we come back, possibly we would have one on there. How good does your hand smell this morning? You want to smile? No. <laughs> nice bloody shad. chunk of bait. No fish. no fish. It's looking fishy. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. It might just be the current. No, it's just the current. I don't know who put that one in here. Had to put it in behind all this rough stuff. Looks like it's hung on a branch. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. All right. Let me come up here and help you. It feels big, but I don't know if it's because of the branch or. Let me see. Let me get the gaff. Don't lose him. I see him right there. There he is. When we're tying these knots, we tie a slip knot so you can just pop it. Now you can pull the other end right there. We got no time to waste, folks. We're going to keep on going. Talk about a pretty day, my lord. Too, though this is the oh, one. Oh that... no no he's on there he's on yeah yeah he's on look at him swing him in oh my gosh look how much he tangled that up his whole poor mouth is tied shut <laughs> <laughs> he was told to be quiet look at him he done spun up bad so this is just like any other fishery i don't know if when you catch one or two on a line does that mean that that line's in the right depth or what but it seems to be like once one hook starts catching it'll catch them pretty much every time you check it he is a really high pitch grunt no bait so the next set we're pulling up on is something totally different. I don't normally do it. I just had the idea yesterday and I wanted to try it. 
I stretched a string from that bush way over to that bush and I put two lines out here in the open. Dang! That was definitely a blue gabe contraption. Put on a real small piece of bait. I think that might be the key right now. I hope we pull in here and these two trees were just shaking back and forth and going under and nothing. I'm glad you all survived last night. Here's the teams. I can't read. Whoever wrote this handwriting, y'all should be fired. <laughs> Team Stump Knockers, which is us. You got Ian and Crystal. Blaine and how do you say, Blaine's not here, right? Is it 10 o'clock? What time is it? Nine. They got three minutes. Well, it looks like Blaine's forfeited. That's who won last year, I think. How are you gonna come walking up here with a bigger catfish than me? <laughs> well, there's more catfish in the boat. He said there's more in the boat. All right, so we're gonna start weighing. We got $600 cash. Think about that. Whoever wins is gonna get 600 bucks for just doing what they were gonna go do anyways. All right, so we got the scale zeroed out. We got a big old hook here. Let's see. Dang, this fish is heavy, son. He's probably as heavy as you are. What's he weigh, Jake? It's on pounds? 10.6. 10.6, write it down, babe. Dax, son, come in with a 10.6. Now the river's crazy high. It's at dang near 13 and a half feet right now, so that's a good fish for a high river. Let's do the poindexters. Come on, Mr. Tommy. All <laughs> team. Oh yeah. Oh, let me make sure it's zero. All right, we're zero. I heard that Jake Arrington lost a big one this morning. It wasn't that big. <laughs> 5.8. There's your fish, son. He's been partaking as cameraman. Y'all gotta watch Ooh. James over here. He that might have been a fish I turned loose a little while back. I'm gonna say 10. He's hit 10 about the most. So we're gonna call him 10 even. There it is, right there. Dax, you're still in the lead. All that dirt. Uh-oh. What happened to our fish? It's a little... <laughs> oh, guys, I win. Dang, Dax. Oh. Dax is still in the lead. Oh, man. Dax. I th Luke, did you, like, empty his stomach out when you brought him up here? Look at this. He stomach. rolled him in the dirt on purpose. Dang, I thought we had y'all. <laughs> It's nine. Wait, Dad, it just hit ten. Take your fish. You slept in this morning. It don't even count. You got DQ'd. Here. Dang it. One thing about all these fish, they're going to make one heck of a fish fry. Well done. Our game was cooking. 6-8. 6-8. Look, babe, look here. Oh, oh man. Hey, that's what we came for. We wanted to see this. Oh, man. Hold on. I'm going to have to take, have this, to go higher. take the scale off. Oh, Ow, again. He's biting you? Yeah, he cut Why me up. Why'd he got the glove on for? Oh, cause he, he <laughs> cut me up bad earlier. Just let me know when you got him. All right, we oh, got him. I gotta get my finger out. Give me a second. Hold on, hold on. It's okay, buddy. Ooh. Oh my God. There we go, God. folks. This is what we what came for. Fish. Look at that. Uh, 35. Oh. 37, two. Oh. Hey. Wow. Oh. Bam. Good job, buddy. <laughs> So, did the baby catch him? Of course. He's our good luck time. The fish is bigger than you, son. Y'all, no, this is a, a beautiful specimen right here. Rod and reel or limb line? Uh, limb line. The last one of the day. He said it was the last one, folks. The last one. Is On this all? On limb lines from the lady in here. So I gotta give her all the thanks. Oh, oh! oh. So you're gonna have to back. split the money with Sandra. Of so course, I'm gonna give her. If we win it, we give her hundred dollars straight out the pay. Aww. I, I'm pretty sure you won it. You're way more than all of ours put together. Is this everybody? Nobody else. Everybody's here. All right. That is 600 a beautiful smackaroos. Let's count it. Let's just make sure it's all here because I haven't <laughs> actually <laughs> counted. One, two, three, four, five, and six. $100. What's y'all's team name? 
We don't gotta have, have a team. Wait, what's the baby's name? Aaron. 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 Give all the credit to him. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Y'all keep me the fish No, yep. Alright, he decided to let his fish go, but we gotta get some pictures first. So we're gonna take this big member jammer and turn it loose back where it came from, and maybe the next time we catch him, he'd be 60 or 70 pounds. Here, let's put the line right in front of him now. He's biting him again. Yeah, he's got me took my friend. There he goes, happy and healthy. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. He's you gotta right. give that man right there all the thanks. So he asked me last minute last night to do it and I come out and done it. Now hold up, y'all said shark fishermen. Where do y'all shark fish? Well, I'm a land-based cat guide out of St. Simons and Jake Wallace. Well, right now's your time to shine. Shout it out. Yes, sir, look up Deep South Shark Fishing Charters. I'm Cat Austin. We'll put you on the biggest shark surf fishing you can get on. Where at? Jake Wallace. Jekyll, Jekyll Island, Georgia. Jekyll Island. Jekyll Island. Jekyll Island, Georgia. Or St. Simons. Really, just Jekyll and St. Simons where we're running out of. What kind of sharks do y'all catch? Lemons. Last year we got five hammers over 10 feet long. Bunch of lemons, bunch of sandbars, black tips. Why are you stealing the baby? I want to hold this. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. That joker was biting. Yep, yep. cut me all up. Mm. Hey. You okay? Give me nux, son. You were in a high second. You see, that's the ones I thought we was going to catch. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were going to catch about a, about a two to three inch little flathead. But then we pulled up with that monster. Yeah. And I would have turned that little two inch flathead in too. Yeah. Proud as ever. <laughs> me too. Who's ready to eat though, y'all? We have tugboat here. Ian, tug trash. We are frying some fish today. <laughs> He's got some ideas. Well, I'll get the fish I caught today out of my boat. But I got to throw you for a curveball. I think we're going to cook some coon. Hey, I'll eat raccoon. Raccoon tastes good. I was like, I've been watching him for a long time. He's part of the reason I started fishing, actually. Uh, cool. Y'all thought we were eating catfish for lunch? We're eating well, raccoon. He, well, ugh. Jake, what is on your eye, son? A passion. You done got jacked up. Mr. Tommy run you into a tree? Yep. Er, the stuff got in my eye and scratched it. How's the catfish? It's really good. I'm, I'm headed to get me a piece right now. I'm on my set. Yeah. All right, you guys, Mr. Dirk right here, he owns the houseboat that's just right down there, one of the two of them, and he let us Oop, clean some of the fish there on his awesome cleaning table. I'm just snacking. I need to get a table right here. We got a, You know one thing about a fish camp? You're never done with it. Uh-uh. Ever. Before y'all go, y'all are lucky enough to go catch shad with Brad and I. Right now, we're fixing to take his boat out, go see what we can catch. Who knows what's fixing to happen, so hold on tight. There's one right there. That one's still alive. Them things are so big. How many do you normally catch? That's crazy and that's all that net is. I figured that net was gonna be a lot longer than that. It won't fit long. If it's long, it won't catch. Oh, I see. Yeah. See that stuff in it? Yep. What is that stuff? I don't know. We never had it to this year. That ain't good. That's a big one. Yeah, big old rubber. Golly. They used to be five pound average. You're kidding. Now they eat that three something. Because you done caught them. 25th weighed 100 pounds. You done caught them all. They come out the ocean. These fish come out of the ocean? Yeah. Ain't for two days out of the ocean. They come up here to lay their eggs. I did not know that. Yeah. Mate, but, yeah, about two days they've been 
Take them about two days to get here. They the salmon the same way? Yeah, salmon's the same way. What they call them? Yep. Andre, something I can't pronounce. All right, y'all, now you get to see where our bait comes from when we are baiting our lines right here on the river. So that's it for this one. We'll see y'all next time.